Hi, Bunch. I'm going stargazing with my friends tonight. Come on, Pops. <laughs> Struth, would you look at that? Huh? What you got there, Pops? Binoculars. Have a look. Ooh. Wow. Everything's all big. <laughs> Here come Mia and Gavin. <laughs> oh, let's go and see if they're ready for our starry adventure. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Butch. Hi, Hi Pops. Pops. Pops has got these really cool things called binoculars. They make stars look huge. <laughs> let's get going. Oh, thanks, Pops. Uh... Actually, Gavin's brought his new Astrogazer 600. Yay! <laughs> nuh -uh, Gavin, it's not a toy. Ooh. The Astrogazer 600 can see into space as far as anyone's ever seen. Whoa! Amazing! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Gavo. We'll have some fun with this later. B but, uh... Let's go and see some stars, shall we? Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're gonna see some stars. Tonight we're gonna see some stars. With any luck we might see Mars. With any luck we might see Mars. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Softly does it. With any luck we might see Mars. Oh, twinkly stars shine really oh. bright. Twinkly stars shine really bright. Only when it's dark at night. But only when it's dark Mr. at Cloverty, night. Mr. Cloverty, Mr. Cloverty, what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> hello, Bodge. I'm doing a spot of night fishing. Ah, oh, you caught anything yet? Uh, uh, not yet. Ah, but the night is still young. And what a beautiful one it is. Just look at how the glittering moon and stars reflect on the silent pool, adorned with twinkly diamonds on a blanket of Prussian blue, like precious jewels on a bed of spun silk, rippling and quivering like the leaves on it. Ah, yeah. Oh. Couldn't agree more, Mr. Cloppity. <laughs> Hope you catch one. Bye. <laughs> I'll try. <sighs> You know, in the outback, there are so many stars. They're like little naps in the sky. Ooh. And if you were ever lost, they'd lead you right back home. Wow, that's so cool. Stars are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> What's so funny, Bodge? I can see Pops's hat in the sky. <laughs> yeah! <Ooh. laughs> and look, there's a ukulele. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe that's mine too. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I had a star of my own. It could twinkle under my pillow. Well, that would never happen. Hmm? My astro gazer says stars are as hot as fire. They'd burn a big hole in your pillow. Don't be silly, Gavin. I'm going to catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> huh? Hmm. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for that one. Oh, <laughs> oh missed. 
Well, I'm not surprised. It's impossible to catch a star. The astrogazer says that one is a hundred million gazillion light years away. Look! <laughs> wow, it's so big and pretty. Ooh. I'm definitely catching that one. Well, you won't be able to. It's just not possible, is it, Pops? Uh, well, they are kind of far away, Mia. But we can still have fun looking at them. See? Told you. All right. I know I couldn't really have one. But I wish, I wish, I wish that I could. They're just so pretty and bright. They make me feel so happy. If you could catch one and keep it, it would be the best thing ever. Hmm. Ooh. Bunch of boom! I've got an idea how to get you a star. I'll be back in a twinkle. Mia really wants a sparkly twinkle star of her own. And I know how she can. I just need something to catch it with. Let's get budging! Fishing pops. Haven't the foggiest, Gavo, but I'm in. Let's go! Mr. Cloverty, Mr. Cloverty, Mr. Cloverty! Have you caught anything yet? Uh, no. <clears throat> but the night is still young. Mr. Cloverty, I need to do some fishing. Will you help me, please? Oh, uh, of course. Wonderful sport. Uh, now, let me tell you about the tackle. But I'm not using those. I'm using this. Well, I must say, that's a rather uh, outback way of doing things. But I'm always game for trying something new. How's that going to reach the sky, Bodge? Uh, the sky? <laughs> It's not! Look! <gasps> there are beautiful stars in the water, as well as in the sky. Hmm. Well, that's not actually true. Shh! <laughs> yes, and we're going to catch one for you, aren't we, Mr. Cloperty? Oh, uh, yes, we'll, we'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Bodgie. Hmm. Shall we catch one for you too, Gavin? I'm quite a damn hand at this now. Thanks, Mr Cloperty. Hey, I'm going to get my own star too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Twinkly stars shine really bright. Twinkly stars shine really bright. But only when it's dark at night. But only when it's dark at night. A telescope is really neat. A telescope is really neat. For seeing stars, it's hard to beat. For seeing stars, it's hard to beat. Tonight we've had some starry fun. Tonight we've had some starry fun. We saw some stars, our job is done. Bosh! Kaboom! The fun will never end. I'm Bodge. I'm feeling so huh? flat Cause I cannot find my hat It's battered at its old Without it my head's cold Brrr. I'm telling you I ain't got nothing to wear Where, where, where is 
my hat. Oh, that's a sad song, Pops. Ah, it sure is, Bodge. I'm singing a sad song because I lost my hat. Ooh, so you have. Oh, I'm sorry, Pops. I've searched all over the house for your hat. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, thanks for looking, Mimi. Who knows where it's gone? I don't feel like me without my hat and my head's all shivery tingle. Don't worry, Pop. I'll find your hat. I'm going to search all over Giggly Park. See you later. Oh, he's a good boy. I'm feeling mighty flat. Because you can't find your hat. No hat here. No hat here. No hat here. Mm, no hat here. Where or oh, where is Pops's hat? Oh, I can't find Pops's hat anywhere. Ooh, that's a funny wobbly whistle. Denzel, it's you. You're the wobbly whistler. Hello, Bodge. It's not just me whistling. Listen. Ooh, what is it? I don't know, but I wish I did. I wish I could find Pops' hat. He's lost it, and I've looked everywhere. Oh, poor Pops. Hey. How about I help you find your wobbly whistler and you help me find Pops's hat? All right. <laughs> whistle, Denzel, whistle. <laughs> no hat here and no wobbly whistler either. I'm all whistled out. <gasps> Look, Denzel. <gasps> it's a big bird. <gasps> Sitting in Pops's hat. And it's doing a wobbly whistle. Yay! What's it saying, Denzel? Hmm. I've no idea. Hello, Birdie. Can Pops have his hat back, please? I don't think it wants to give it back. But Pops needs his hat back. His head is all shivery tingle and he doesn't feel like Pops without it. Can he have it back, please? <gasps> oh, oh, Bodge. Huh? Mr Cloppity? Over here. <gasps> the bush. It's talking. Hello, lads. Hello, Mr. Cloppity. You're in a bush. It's my bird-watching hide. I made it so I can watch birds without them seeing me. Ooh. The giggly warbler is getting upset. You'd better come inside. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're on my hoof. Sorry. <laughs> It is a tight squeeze for three, but perfect for watching the very rare Giggly Warbler. Ah, the Giggly Warbler. An avian jewel in nature's crown. Never has a warble been so warbly, or plumage been so plumy. Can I have a look, Mr. Cloppity? Oh, of course, Bodge. Ooh. It's a lovely, happy, flappy bird. But it is sitting in Pops's hat. And I promised Pops I'd find it and get it back on his head. Oh, careful with those binoculars. Oh, my foot. Sorry. Oof. Oh, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yeah. hmm. Pops is going to have to wait to get his hat back. 
the giggly warbler has turned it into her home. Oh, dear. Pops may be hatless, but she will be homeless. Oh, no. Anyway, I need to fill up my flask. You could keep an eye on our special bird. Okie dokie, Mr. Cloppity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Pops. Let's sing a happy song. That always cheers you up. Take it away, Pops. I'm feeling sort of flat. We really need to find your hat. Well, I think it's silly using your dad's hat as a nest. Dental, all these happy flappy birds have proper nests, not Pops's hat. Where are you going, Budge? To get twigs and leaves. We're going to build a proper nest fit for a giggly warbler. Come on! <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? We made uh, this for the Giggly Warbler. It's a proper nest. So the Giggly Warbler can use this instead of Pops's hat. Well, it's certainly cosy with all these leaves. Quality craftsmanship. Come on, Birdie. We've made you a new home. It isn't working. Oh, wait a minute. Something's happening. <coughs> well, look at that. It's just laid an egg. Pops's hat is now a proper nest. I'm afraid we can't move it now. Quite wonderful. So how long will it be before Pops can have his hat back, Mr Cloppity? Oh, it'll just be a few weeks before the egg hatches. Weeks? But Pops needs his hat now. Doesn't Pops have another hat? Hmm. I've just had a bunch of boom idea. Oopsie. <laughs> The Giggly Warbler doesn't want my nest, but I know someone who might. Let's get budging! <laughs> Boo! I found your hat, Pops! <laughs> you found it? Yes, but you can't have it. A really rare bird has laid an egg in it. It won't hatch for weeks. Well, it sounds like that bird needs my hat more than I do. Ah, oh, I'd better let it be. But you can wear this until you get your old one back. Well, I'm not sure. Nice hat, Pops. It really suits you. It does? Oh, lovely leafy lining too. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your hat has made a nest. Thank you, Bodge, for getting my head dressed. And thank you, Giggly Warbler, your singing is the best. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.